I'm Constable Lori Ann Maitland of the Oxford Community Police Service. And I'd like to thank everyone for uh, joining us today in the media conference. This morning, we'll hear from our Chief of Police, Ron Fraser, from Oxford Community Police Service, and OPP's Criminal Investigative Branch Detective Inspector, William Renton. He will inform us of the present status of our investigation into the disappearance of Victoria Stafford. Each member will be reading it from a prepared script and following growth presentations, I'll open the conference up for a question and answer period. I must remind you that uh, this is an active police investigation. There are some questions that we may not be able to answer due to operational reasons. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome Chief of Police, Oxford Community Police Services, Ron Fraser.
Our job is to follow the evidence and take it where it leads us. And whether described as a missing person or an abduction, it makes no matter. The investigation is the same process. Either way, the matter has been investigated appropriately from the onset. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the hundreds of businesses and community partners that assists us in many different ways. I want to thank the citizens of our community and for their offers of help and the assistance they have provided. And as well, I'd like to thank you, the members of the media, for your ongoing support. I don't have to remind anyone that our collective goal of this community is to locate Tori and to bring her home to her loved ones. To that end, it is my pleasure to introduce you once again to the Inspector Inspector Bill Renton of the Young Ontario Provincial Police Criminal Investigations Branch. At my request, he will be assuming the role as an H case manager to work with the members of my police service, our officers, and their officers to locate Tory. Detective Inspector Renton brings with him a wealth of expertise that will help us accomplish that goal of finding Tory. Good morning. Thank you, Chief. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and media representatives. As the Chief indicated, I'm Detective Inspector Bill Renton of the OPP Criminal Investigation Branch. There is nothing more tragic than the disappearance of a child. We share the Chief's goal to find Victoria Stafford and return her to her loved ones. I applaud the efforts put forth by the members of the Oxford Community Police Service, as well as other police and community partners who have provided assistance. <coughs> The OPP will be working in partnership with the Oxford Community Police Service and the community to find Tory. Cases involving missing or abducted children require a vast amount of resources and expertise in order to manage the wide range of tasks required to investigate them thoroughly. As a major case manager in this incident, it is my job to continue to ensure that all the evidence is meticulously, meticulously gathered, processed, and acted upon effectively. This will enable the investigating members to cohesively follow the evidence where it leads us in the hopes of finding Tory. Over the last few days, we have jointly uh, reviewed and analyzed the evidence collected and the investigative steps taken thus far. As a result of both the Oxford Community Police Service and the OPP, we're now considering this case a child abduction. As Chief Fraser indicated earlier, this will have no bearing on how we deploy our resources or change the focus of the investigation. Our focus remains to find Tory. We are confident that someone has information of Tory's whereabouts. We are asking you to do the right thing and contact police immediately. Public assistance and media cooperation in incidents of this Incidents such as this are vital to solving these crimes. It only takes the smallest piece of information to provide police to enable us to locate Tory. No piece of information is too small or insignificant to follow up on. We have a joint investigative team in place to facilitate all the tips that we receive. I encourage every member in the community and elsewhere who may recognize Tory on the photographs distributed to the media to call us their local police agency or crime stoppers immediately. As Constable Mainland has said, this is an active police investigation and there are some, perhaps many pieces of information that we are not able to divulge at this time. This is an investigative necessity required by the nature of this case. What we can tell you is that we will continue to follow all the evidence in the hopes that it will lead us to Tory and her eventual return to her loved ones. It is not uncommon to get tips flowing in locally, provincially, nationally, and internationally. The sudden and unexpected disappearance of a child touches the hearts of everyone, and many want to help. My role is to ensure the investigators stay focused on the relevant leads while ensuring nothing is overlooked that could be of value in our search and 